Hey there, Johnny Davis from the Texas Guitar School, and uh, today uh, what we're going to do is a little uh, improvising clip uh, running the pentatonic shapes on, uh, in D minor. I know on Facebook I've been posting a lot of pictures about the weather being nice and sunny, but today, Mother Nature got us. It's uh, 40 degrees outside and it's raining, so uh, we do a little example today of how to practice pentatonic shapes, give you an example of what I do when I practice pentatonic shapes. And uh, we're going to run uh, all five positions over a backing track in D minor. And uh, let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to do a quick review of the uh, five pentatonic shapes in the key of D minor. I'm not going to get into how all these are built. Uh, you can look on my uh, my website. We've, I've got an entire uh, page there of a bunch of clips where it talks about how pentatonics are built and the origins of where they come from and all the scales that go with them and blah, blah, blah. So anyway, let's get started. We're going to go to fret 10, string 6. That's D. Again, this is a D minor root, Aeolian. C, Mixolydian. A, Phrygian. G, Dorian. F major. G Dorian, A Phrygian, all right so there you go that's a framework that's the five pentatonic shapes over two octaves for the key of D minor. Okay so here we go I'm going to put on a, uh, a D minor backing track here on YouTube uh, I'm going to run some pentatonic shapes over this I'm going to completely improvise this whole thing uh, I'm not sure what's going to come out, but this will give an example of a standard practice day with pentatonic shapes for me. I change keys from time to time. In this case, we're playing D minor, and uh, let's cue up a backing track and get rolling. See what we get.
have it inside today on a rainy day here in Arlington, Texas. Uh, doing a little D minor pentatonic jam there. Uh, putting together some uh, pentatonic shapes for you. Queued up a backing track on uh, YouTube there. Main thing from that is you're going to make mistakes and whatnot when you're practicing your sh uh, shapes, especially when you're making it up. Uh, that's, that's just bound to happen, which is okay. That's fine. Uh, the main thing is you're getting your fingers familiar with where the shapes are in the, on the neck in that key and that you're getting the muscle memory in your hand of where to maneuver and move in and out of those shapes with a certain amount of accuracy and speed. Okay, so today uh, practice pentatonic shapes putting together scales and that uh, was over the key of D minor. <laughs> 